Hello, hello, hello to all of my amazing Pisces. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy Sunday Eve. <laughs> Happy Sunday Eve. Yes, it is Saturday and we are currently in a waning gibbous moon. Yes, we're going to talk about that, the number nine, plus we have five planets that are retrograde right now. OMG. Plus, Pisces, I owe you some decon videos. Yes, 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 yes. Decon one, two, and three. So look out for those very, very soon. Uh, let's get it. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my amazing Pisces as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where they need to take action. I am talking to my compassionate intuitives who are gentle, wise, and musical. In a lot of cases, musical, natural healers selfless, emotional, in a good way, artistic, empathetic. Yes, you all are empaths. Very, very, very powerful. The last sign in the zodiac, absorbing energy from all signs, from Aries all the way down to fellow Pisceans. Let's get into your reading. Okay, I see some heartbreak here. I also see you all getting to the heart of the matter of what was heartbreaking for you. All right, let's look at the Hierophant card, which is Taurus. We also have the Magician card, which is attached to the planet Mercury, which is um, Gemini and Virgo's ruling planet. We have the Eight of Swords. We also have the Two of Cups. We also have the Queen of Wands. We also have the Three of Swords. Yes, 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 yes. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Like I said, we have five planets that's retrograde. We also have a lot of things going on here. So what I'm seeing right now is that you all are getting to the heart of the matter of anything that broke your heart, right? You're not going to give a whole lot of energy to it. So that's two parts to this. The waning gibbous moon is really encouraging everybody, not just Pisces, to not focus on any low vibration energy, like really, because we had a full moon, which exposes everything, right? Everything in us, insecurities, great feelings about ourselves, not so hot feelings about ourselves, everything, right? And so it could have even exposed within you things that were very heartbreaking that, that stem from your childhood, relationships along your journey in life it could have exposed a whole lot of things right especially those relationships where you felt smothered like you just felt like your air supply was being restricted you couldn't show your emotions the person probably said you're just you showing too many emotions you need to relax with all of that whatever right well maybe it was heartbreaking for you because you love hard right so getting to the heart of the matter for you is more or less like maybe me and certain signs don't gel well together, right? Am I going to be hurt? Maybe a little bit, but not so heartbreaking, heartbroken. I can't recover from it, right? Matter of fact, you're going to balance it out. You're going to, as a Pisces, absorbing all the energy from everywhere you go, you are great at picking up on different energies. Instead of you wallowing in heartbreak and hurt, you're going to say, hold on, the magician in me, this is Virgo and Gemini, okay, I'm going to know when to speak and not when to speak on it, right? What to give air to, what not to give air to. What to give air to is Gemini's air sign, Virgo is the earth sign, right? Two different elements. But their ruling planet is Mercury, the planet of communication. I'm going to know what to give air to and what to throw dirt on, Right, And I'm not talking about throwing dirt on someone's name. We're not talking about that. We're talking about what to just go ahead and just bury. Like, um, if I have all of these emotions for something, okay, some of them I want to give air to because I'm, I'm interested in healing, right? Healing this broken heart. Remember, the heart chakra is attached to the air element. So I'm going to give air to certain things so I can heal my broken heart. That's where you want to mend your broken heart, right? See how you see if I get in real close, well, you can see the mending of this heart. And you're going to look back on your former self and see how restricted you felt when you gave energy, you gave air to things that didn't serve your highest purpose because that's what caused the heartbreak, right? That's what caused the feeling restricted, right? Then you started focusing on loving yourself deeper and harder, Pisces. Yes, right? 
probably got near a body of water. Your water sign got near a body of water. You start, both of these hands are your hands, right? It makes you a whole lot more magnetic and attractive and on fire when you balance out your own energies, right? You're already a magnet, right? But you don't want to attract energies that's going to um, break your heart. I need some more hands here. <laughs> That's going to break your heart. You don't want to attract energies that you already know because you've already picked up on the energies. Certain signs, I'm telling you, certain, any sign can work together. I'm just going to put that out there. Any sign can work together. But if you don't know who you are and you cannot clearly communicate what it is you expect from the other person because you already know, hey, some signs require this, some signs require that, but what's most important is what you require. If you're not effectively communicating that to other signs where they know, hey, listen, I like this, 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 that, and the other, and they can't respect it, then, hey, they may be better off as friends, <laughs> right? Yeah, they may be better off as friends. Or let's say, for instance, your family members, you know, they, um, they can't respect your journey. They can't respect your growth. You moving towards freedom. They can't respect that. You may have to just say, hey. I may have to call you once a year or not call you at all, <laughs> right? Again, um, let's talk about the number nine for just a second. Because again, I see you not giving a whole lot of energy to things that don't serve your highest purpose. And that's going to affect some people. Some people are going to feel some kind of way about you not giving them any more air, right? Like you just said, I'm just going to go ahead and bury some of those relationships with this earth, the, the dirt, right? My thoughts are a lot more organized when I don't deal with certain people. I feel a thousand percent better. I feel magnetic. I feel happy. I feel free. Number nine. Number nine is a number of transformation. Something needs to end to begin again. Number nine can regenerate itself over and over again. Nines are warm, outgoing, loving. They have a dramatic flair. They exude um, magnetic personality that allows them to get along with pretty much anybody. Nines are compassionate. They're romantic. They're filled with unconditional love. They are compassionate humanitarians, right? So again, you can fill your energy space up with vibrations from the number nine. You don't have to... Um, dwell on because again it's a waning gibbous moon will cause people to sort of dwell on insecurities and dwell on things that hurt them you don't have to dwell on a heart a broken heart you don't even have to dwell on that relationship you don't even have to give it any more air right remember you're the magician you can think about it but are you gonna get too much energy to it no you go find something high vibrational to do yep because you're moving closer and closer to complete and total freedom, whatever that looks like for you. Does it look like um, you're not working for anybody else anymore? That could be freedom. Does it look like, you know, you're no longer afraid to speak your mind and really balance out your energies without getting overly emotional? Yeah, whatever freedom, whatever your definition of freedom is. I see a lot of money in your cards. Yeah, this is nice, Pisces. I see you receiving more money because, again, you're not holding space for... Things that don't serve your highest purpose. You're not holding space for fear and pain and hurt and all of that. Remember, you're mending your own broken heart, right? You're no longer in that space of feeling restricted anymore. So you're like, I'm not even holding space for that. I'm moving towards my freedom. I'm seeing perfect synergy when it comes to your money. Uh-huh. Perfect synergy. Yep. Everything is in alignment, right? Why? Because you're getting this right here, right? So from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. But this right here, your solar plexus chakras, is where your personal power and your identity lie. This is what your power is. This is divine masculine energy, right? So you're action-oriented. It's like, you know what? Well, hey, I took the action to heal myself. There's no way I'm going backwards. No way, right? And so you feel good. A lot of you all are starting to meditate more. And you're feeling a thousand percent better, right? Here we have the death rebirth card, right? Which is attached to Pluto, Scorpio and Pluto. So, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Pluto is retrograde right now along with four other planets. Pluto is encouraging everybody, you and everybody else, to declutter, right? Just like we're talking about the number nine right now. Letting something die so that something can be reborn. Yep. Letting those feelings of feeling smothered and restricted and 
not having access to the life that you deserve, that freedom, like living life on your terms completely, that has to die so that this person who is living life on their terms is reborn, right? You're in perfect harmony and peace with yourself. That's what this is about. This is you, your divine masculine to your divine feminine, the little boy or the little girl in you. Yeah. And it makes you so much more attractive. So if you're interested in being in a romantic relationship because you're at peace with yourself, it makes you attractive. If you want to be in a relationship, this could be you and your person. This could be y'all kids or the little boy or the little girl and you or her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But again, this is you being in complete and total peace with yourself, right? No longer are you going to be restricted by anybody else's rules and whatever else, you know, um, and then I see you working very hard and earning a lot of money. So again, I see you all, you all can be picking up new gigs. I mean, all sorts of things that is making you more money because you're no longer feeling bound by um, other people's restrictions on your life and who they think you should be, Pisces. You are living life fully on your own terms and feeling great about it. When I say harmonious and at peace with yourself, yes. It's like a perfect river, a perfect flow. You ever been to the beach and the water just is so cool, calm, and collected? We're not talking about the undercurrents. We're just talking about what you can see. It's just ah, at peace, complete and total at peace. But see, even the under parts of you, you know, talking about your spirit, your soul is at peace, right? It's not giving any falsities. It's not like, okay, you look like you're cool, calm, and collected on the outside, but in, at inside, you just a, a, just a hot mess, right? That's how you used to be, giving off the impression that everything was together, you know, outside, you know, looking nice, your hair, makeup done for the guys, you know, you got your hair cut and everything is together. But inside, it could have been this, you know, this turbulence and, in, in, you know, underneath this undercurrent. But for you now, your insides match your outsides. You are totally at peace. You don't care what people think about you. That's their thought. That's their karma. It's not your problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Pisces? I'm serious. You're just like, mm -mm. I'm not, not doing it anymore. I'm loving my life. I'm loving where I am. Hopefully, you all are you're not, you're making peace with people. You know, people are trying to make peace with you. It's just like, you know what? I'm just, hey, I'm loving my life. I'm not going backwards. Clear your energy field. This is why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you. You're clearing your energy field. Yes, this is good, right? The 10, 1. You are firmly planted and grounded, rooted and grounded, right? It's you and God, you and the Most High God. Look at the number 1, you know, and then 0 is the God number, right? Go back and watch some of my videos on the number 1 and the number 0, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about the characteristics of the vibration of these numbers. Anything, the, any, um, when the number is behind, I mean, when the zero is behind any number, it expands that number. So imagine you got 10, then you got two zeros behind it, that's 100. You got three zeros behind it, 1,000. So it expands that number. So it's you and God. <laughs> it's you and God. So again, this is what I have for you. This is a beautiful transformation for you, Pisces. I'm really, really happy for you all. Again, if you're interested in seeing those Decon 1, 2, and 3 videos, remember Decon derives from the word Decanoi, which is 10 days apart. So when we enter into Pisces season, the first 10 days, Decon 1. Second 10 days, Decon 2. Third 10 days, Decon 3. And we're talking about, so if your birthday falls between those dates, not only are you a Pisces and your ruling planet is Jupiter and Neptune, you also have a sub-ruling planet that adds sparkle to your personality. So if you're interested in seeing those videos, hey, drop a message and I'll go ahead and upload those videos as soon as possible. But that's what I have for you, Pisces. Have a great one. Bye.